Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is um, Friday, October 25th of 2013. And what you're looking at right now is a very well-known Packard Bell accessory, the Packard Bell Fast Media Remote, which is very, very blurry. There we go. <laughs> this um, this was sold by Packard Bell with, um, well, actually, this, this came with several Packard Bell computers around Oh, 1995, 1996 or so, and was also sold as a, an extra accessory at places like Best Buy, which I didn't know until last week. And um, basically, what what these remotes do, you can control stuff on your Packard Bell, like the CD player, your telephone, your fax machine, um, the volume, and the channel. Um, if you have a TV. Well, um, this was later retired. Uh-oh, that, that didn't sound good. <laughs> this It was later retired around uh, the later part of 1996, I want to say. And, um, and was eventually replaced with this. This is the Media Select by Packard Bell. Basically, what it is is a little um, device that slides under your monitor and that lets you control um, a lot of the functions that the fast media remote control would control. Now, um, what's, what's very bizarre about this media select is that you would think um, it would plug into the serial port or at the very least the keyboard port. Well, actually, it plugs in in the mouse port, the, the PS2 mouse port, if you can believe that. And then um, you take your regular mouse and you plug it in right here to a little mouse plug on the Media Select itself. It's a very bizarre um, con connection thing. <laughs> But here are the buttons you get on the Media Select. You get Channel Select, um, if you have a TV card on here, which this one, this P Platinum 2240 does. I added it in myself, but I can't get it to work. And it can also be used to change the track on a CD. I believe this is for the answering machine, fax machine, telephone, CD, Internet, I'm not sure what that opens up. It might open Internet Explorer or something. TV, if you have it. FM radio card, if you have it. This this little um, thing here, if you press this twice, you can use the Packard Bell flatbed scanner. If you have one, I do not have one. Uh, this, can, this turns on or off the SRS 3D sound, which, as usual, sounds like crap. Or you can also use it to mute, and here is volume up and volume down. Now, um, I'm not sure what this options thing does. I guess we can find out. Well, it did something. PH. No clue what that is. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I was playing with the volume buttons here, and you get a little bar on here that you that we you would get on the fast media remote. And it it it's a very unique little device. Um, I don't think it really caught on. Not many people used it. This was um, I don't think you. Could, now, unlike the Fast Media Remote, I don't think you could buy this separately. This would only come with, with a computer you bought, and it would only come on a, on a nicer, um, more expensive Packard Bell, usually the Platinum series like this. This is the one, this is the Media Select that originally came with this um, Packard Bell. And these pop up on eBay from time to time, they're usually not too expensive. And they're a good thing to have if you're into Packard Bell collecting like I am. And um, I, I will demonstrate the CD aspect of it. All you have to do is press the CD button. 
Alright, it's accessing the CD. And there we go. If you're wondering what music this is, this is from the Big Snowman level on Snowboard Kids, on which is a game on the Nintendo 64. I've always loved this song. Like volumes all the way up. And you can go to the next track by pressing the channel up button. Yay, purple place. Thank you, Jay. Oh, no. And that will be track three. <laughs> I need to get a life, don't I? Let's just... Let's just throw this away so it can't be used as evidence against me. <laughs> So, um, I guess that's all there is to say about this Media Select, and by the way, this was um, a video request by a good friend of mine. Um, I can't exactly remember his YouTube news username. Um, I apologize for that, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is Billy Corr signing off on October 25th of 2013. Goodbye.